this week we hit a grim milestone of over 200,000 deaths due to the coronavirus. Congress passed a stopgap bill to prevent a government shutdown for six weeks. Let me catch you up on the events of the week and give you a way to prevent becoming a victim of the massive amount of ID theft that the pandemic has unleashed. I'm Jordan Goodman, America's Money Answers Man, and this is the Money Answers Week in Review. This week will always be remembered as the time when the death toll due to the coronavirus went over 200,000. There have now been over 203,000 deaths, a total of 7 million cases, and an average of 37,000 new cases per day. Still, there is plenty of progress being made to test a virus vaccine. Novavax, Johnson & Johnson, and Moderna all announced this week that they have vaccines entering phase three clinical trials, which involve tens of thousands of participants. Congress passed a bill to keep the government operating as it was approaching its September 30th fiscal year deadline. That will last until December 11th, when the Congress will have to pass a longer term spending bill. The Democratic House of Representatives is about to pass a $2.4 trillion coronavirus aid package. That's down from the $3.4 trillion they wanted earlier, but it's still far more than the $1.5 trillion maximum that the Senate Republicans are willing to support. It looks unlikely there's going to be any new stimulus bill before the election, and that's causing major pain to the unemployed and small businesses that have not gotten any money from the government since the CARES Act expired at the end of July. The number of initial jobless claims was steady at 870,000, up slightly from 866,000 the week before. One area of the economy that is super hot is sales of existing homes, which soared 10.5% from year-ago levels. That's now an annual rate of 6 million sales. Home sales are being driven by low mortgage rates and people moving out of cities to the suburbs. The Federal Trade Commission reported there have been over 206,000 coronavirus-related scams costing Americans over $145 million so far this year. Crooks are stealing people's stimulus checks, unemployment benefits, and PPP loans. They're getting victims to give up personal data like Social Security and Medicare numbers and birth dates to steal their identities. They're reaching out with robocalls, text messages, emails, and social media posts. You should make sure you're protected against ID theft. Check out my affiliates Identity Guard and Identity IQ, which monitor your ID and help you recover if you've been victimized. Find out more about Identity Guard and Identity IQ by clicking on the link in the video description. I want you to have the tools and knowledge you need to navigate these very tricky economic times and improve your personal finances. I'm Jordan Goodman, and this has been the Money Answers Week in Review for the week of September 25th.